In the Second Brick War, many modern LEGO people were not friendly with the classic LEGO people. They couldn't eat at cafes or restaurants, they couldn't get any jobs, and they couldn't study. Legoland's police covered the streets and cities, checking if the modern LEGO people were helping the classic ones. Hey! What are you doing here? We don't have any beds. Let's in peace. What did you say? They destroyed most of the classic Lego people's homes and left them without beds. The leader of Legoland, named Ostroff Legos, won as becoming a leader in 2000. He deleted the whole Democrats and most of the people in that time thought he was the lifesaver of Legoland. He claimed that the classic people made Legoland lose the first brick war and made Legoland poor, but that was just a lie. Ostroff Legos made the Ostroff Kids group where kids go camping and need to follow the rules like the military. Most of the kids found it to be good. As I was a kid, my classmates just laughed at me because I can't join the Ostrovsky group. And they became bullies and punched me straight to my face. Let's do this! In July 2003, the modern LEGO people started hating Ostroff LEGOs. They helped the classic LEGO people and helped the other nations to make Legoland's leader die. They even started making protests. In January 2005, Legoland lost the war and Ostroff Legos killed himself. Legoland became better and democratic. People don't want to remember the Second Brick War anymore.